The C-5 Galaxy is not just one of the largest military aircraft in the world. It is an engineering giant built to move the heaviest loads across the globe with unmatched reach. Originally developed by Lockheed, now known as Lockheed Martin, this massive airlifter first entered operational service with the U.S. Air Force in 1970, marking the start of a new era in strategic air mobility. The C-5M Super Galaxy, a thoroughly modernized upgrade of the original aircraft, was introduced in 2009 with significantly improved engines and an advanced avionics suite to enhance performance and reliability. At 247 feet in overall length, the C-5 Galaxy stretches farther than most Boeing 747 variants. Its enormous wingspan of 222.8 feet nearly matches the dimensions of an American football field, making it a commanding presence on any airfield. Standing 65 feet tall, the Galaxy's vertical profile is equivalent to a mid-rise building between five and seven stories, depending on construction standards. With a maximum takeoff weight of 840,000 pounds, it holds the distinction of being the heaviest aircraft currently in U.S. military service. Cruising at a top speed of 518 miles per hour, roughly Mach 0.77, it can cover vast distances while maintaining efficiency at altitude. The C-5M variant boasts an unrefueled range of 5,524 miles a figure that can be extended indefinitely through aerial refueling operations. Its cavernous cargo hold can accommodate up to 281,000 pounds of freight, a capacity that easily surpasses the weight of two fully equipped M1 Abrams main battle tanks. So the C-5 is a special aircraft because it can fit outsized cargo, meaning it can the design of the plane allows it to hold things that most normal planes wouldn't usually be able to hold. Most planes need palletized cargo, whereas we can fit larger cargo such as helicopters, tanks, and satellites. Supporting this immense weight is a robust 28-wheel landing gear system designed for optimal load distribution and stability. The arrangement consists of four main landing gear assemblies, each with six wheels, supplemented by a two-wheel nose gear for precise ground handling. This gear architecture incorporates a kneeling function, allowing the aircraft to lower its cargo deck to simplify loading and unloading operations. The kneeling feature can be set to three configurations, full kneel, forward kneel, or aft kneel depending on the type of cargo and mission requirements. Driven by a hydraulic system, the landing gear is fully retractable to minimize drag during flight. Its intricate design helps reduce stress on taxiways and runways during heavy load operations, preserving airfield infrastructure. While capable of landing on semi-prepared runways when required, the C-5 primarily operates from major air bases with the facilities to handle its size. To manage its massive momentum, the aircraft is equipped with a multi-disc carbon braking system for rapid, controlled deceleration.
loading operations are highly efficient thanks to two cargo access points, one at the nose and one at the tail, that allow simultaneous use. The forward fuselage can lift upward in a visor-like motion to enable direct front loading of oversized cargo. So depending on the cargo that we carry, it's easier to load, uh, especially like uh, pallets, things like that. It's easier to load from the back in our truck bed mode is what they call it, uh, where then once we have bigger objects like boats, helicopters, things like that, uh, the aircraft has a special cap uh, capability to where we can kneel. Uh, the aircraft will essentially lower itself to the ground, and then we can load larger cargo through the front end. This dual entry configuration allows ground crews to load and unload at the same time, cutting turnaround times in demanding missions. Inside, the cargo compartment measures 121 feet long, 19 feet wide, and 13.5 feet high, creating a vast open space for bulky loads. Its dimensions can easily accommodate vehicles as large as a school bus or helicopters, with their rotor blades still attached. With over 34,000 cubic feet of usable volume, the hold offers a space comparable to that of a large six-bedroom house. The straight-through layout enables drive-on, drive-off loading, a crucial advantage for fast combat deployments. Cargo is secured in place with an array of tie-down fittings, roller systems, and floor locks, designed for both ground delivery and airdrop missions. The upper deck above the main cargo bay can carry up to 73 troops, providing personnel transport capability alongside heavy freight. Power comes from four General Electric CF680C2 engines mounted under the wings. Each of these high-bypass turbofans delivers 51,250 pounds of thrust, producing a combined total of more than 205,000 pounds. Compared to earlier models, these engines provide 22% more thrust while operating more quietly and with better fuel economy. Even when fully loaded, the C5M can lift off in under 8,300 feet thanks to the extraordinary output of its power plants. The engines are fitted with thrust reversers, which reduce landing distances and enable the unusual ability to taxi in reverse. This reverse taxi capability allows the Galaxy to reposition on suitable runways without the aid of a tow vehicle. Although the C5 excels at carrying the heaviest payloads over intercontinental distances, the smaller C17 Globemaster III offers greater versatility for a mix of strategic and tactical missions. Introduced in 1995, the C17 was designed to give the Air Force a modern heavy lift platform capable of operating globally with fewer infrastructure requirements. It can haul 170,900 pounds of cargo, whether that's a single M1 Abrams tank or a full complement of paratroopers and their equipment. 
measuring 174 feet in length with a wingspan just shy of 170 feet, the C-17 strikes a balance between size and operational flexibility. Its four Pratt and Whitney turbofan engines each generate 40,440 pounds of thrust, giving it excellent short field performance. The aircraft can operate from runways as short as 3,500 feet and as narrow as 90 feet, and can even pivot in place using a three-point star turn with reverse thrust. With a maximum takeoff weight of 585,000 pounds, it can fly an unrefueled range of approximately 2,400 nautical miles while cruising at max 0.74. The C-17 can airdrop a single load weighing up to 60,000 pounds or multiple sequential drops totaling 110,000 pounds. And it can also transport 36 litter patients plus 54 ambulatory patients in a medevac role. Its standard crew consists of two pilots and one loadmaster, supported by a fully digital cockpit and fly-by-wire flight controls. Uh, we could fit one, just one of the M1 Abrams tanks, um, just because they're so heavy. Uh, but as, as far as other armored vehicles, we can carry a, about up to five large armored vehicles in the in the jet. Yeah, loading the loading the Abrams tank is definitely. Uh, nerve-wracking. It's, it's, it's a big vehicle, so uh, you got to have a lot of people monitoring clearances and making sure that the whole operation is being conducted safely. A specialized wing design featuring externally blown flaps and a propulsive lift system allows the C-17 to perform steep approaches and slow landings into austere airfields. While the C-17 bridges the gap between strategic and tactical lift, the C-130 Hercules remains the U.S. military's most adaptable airlifter for rugged and remote operations. First entering service in 1956, the C-130 has remained in continuous production for over six decades, making it one of the longest serving aircraft in military history. The latest C-130J Super Hercules incorporates digital avionics, stronger engines, and greater range to improve upon the already legendary design. It is powered by four Rolls-Royce AE2 100D3 turboprop engines, each producing 4,637 shaft horsepower for exceptional short field capability. With a maximum payload of 42,000 pounds, the C-130J can carry vehicles, pallets, 92 ground troops, or 64 paratroopers depending on mission needs. Its compact footprint and rugged landing gear allow it to operate from unpaved dirt or gravel strips as short as 3,000 feet. Depending on its configuration, it can perform tactical airdrops, medevac missions, search and rescue operations, or electronic warfare tasks. Specialized models include the AC-130 gunship, the HC-130 combat rescue platform, and the MC-130 Special Operations Aircraft. With over 2,500 built, the Hercules remains a cornerstone of tactical airlift capability worldwide. Together, the C-5 Galaxy, 
C-17 Globemaster III and C-130 Hercules form the backbone of the United States Global Airlift Fleet, each optimized for a different role. From the massive lift capacity of the C-5 to the short field agility of the C-17 and the rugged versatility of the C-130, these aircraft complement one another across combat and humanitarian missions. This combined capability ensures the United States can move critical equipment, troops, and supplies rapidly to even the most remote or contested areas on Earth. It is this layered, multi-platform approach that makes air mobility one of the most strategically decisive elements of American military power. If you enjoyed this content, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss more videos like this.